Hello you all, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video we are going to check uh, the weekly general tarot reading for your star sign for the week 11th to 17th of uh, January 2021. And in case you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a, uh, a link to my website from which very front page you can see the full list of my services and as well their pricing. Also keep in mind that the content for YouTube and Facebook, they are uh, separate, they are exclusive to one another. While in YouTube you can find um, your weekly general tarot readings. In Facebook you are going to find astrology posts performed by the Pisces Moonbeam, which is an exceptional astrologer that works with me. And as well you can catch me live and have your daily tarot readings. So with that being said, enjoy the show. Okay, so uh, we have Cancer, Sun, Moon and as well rising on our hands and uh, let's have a look guys uh, what you are to experience throughout this particular week. Let me shuffle the cards and uh, we are going to jump right into the spread. Right, so the first card we have for you that is going to be the Hermit. Moving next, we do have the Nine of Cups. Well, that's very promising here. Followed by the World. Uh, the fourth one that we do have for you is going to be the Six of Wands. And the last one, oh my God, is going to be the Emperor. Ooh, that is a fantastic one for Cancer. Wow. Right, um, so here with the Hermit at the start of the week, um, my God, how, how do I even start here? Um, oh, it's, it's kind of like at the start of the week, guys, you are going to stop being scattered. That, that is the best way how I can start. That is because you are going to address your life in general or your relationship, your career, whatever it is there with a uh, intelligence and with wisdom. Not that you haven't addressed it by now, but it's kind of like was scattered, like I said, but now you will be able to channel it into one specific direction, one specific goal, one specific agenda. And that is the reason why uh, the Hermit is interpreted as a uh, withdrawal. That is because with this intelligence, this wisdom, you will, you will want to withdraw from the ideas of others and the ideas of the world so you can hear or find out your own idea, okay? That substantial thing out there that you want to follow by yourself, what you want to be, what job you want to work with, uh, you want to work about, uh, you know, which person you want to be with or what you want from your marriage. And so it's just you are going to focus entirely on what is substantial for you, what, what is going to make your life has a purpose and that is what the her that is why the hermit holds that light which is the light that shines for each one of us into the darkness realizing what that light is and moving into the direction of the light so you're going to start pushing into your own direction there now the only poignant or negative thing i can say about the hermit it is that not everybody is going to be thrilled or happy of uh, the substantial events that you are going, not substantial events, but rather like the goal that you are going to set upon yourself and that you are going to start following because understandably that's not everybody's goal and there are those that wants to control you, there are those that wants to make a use of you and they're not going to be happy at all because, because uh, and not because, but it, it, that is going to be here as well a test who is there for they love you and who is there for they make a use of you or you serve some kind of a purpose in their life. So be prepared that once you do um, change course of action, because that is what we have here, um, not everybody is going to applaud you for it. Not everybody is going to follow you into that direction. And for that reason, you need to be ready to sever ties with those that are trying to talk you out of it or with those that doesn't want to uh, give you a helping hand and etc. etc. for they are around you just because they had some use of you and not because they loved you. Those that are going to support you, those that are going to walk with you on that path, 
they are the people that truly loves you for this substantial idea or, or a goal it's only yours you are the only beneficiary of it okay and that is the real test of who loves you and who doesn't so if your husband doesn't support you or your wife for example i don't know what to tell you it's, it's pretty self-explanatory here uh, and uh, from there we do have the nine of cups and once you do define that goal for you that is going to bring sense into your life even more sense into your life you are going to be very happy guys i mean nine of cups it is that um sensual joy you feel from life that ecstasy that content that that exhilaration if you will realizing that now all you do just all, all you plan to do just just makes sense okay and brings you to your wish fulfillment it is because now the goal it is your wish not everybody not anybody else's imposed idea or imposed um, how can I say vision, but it is your vision, your idea, it's very reachable, it's accomplishable, and definitely you are going to start tasting that um, accomplishment of a dream. Now, the thing with the Nine of Cups, it is that you are not quite there yet, okay? And uh, while you're going to feel that exhilaration and that um, ecstasy, like I said, you know, content and, uh, and fullness of life, that may be short-lived uh, if you do let yourself be carried away of these good feelings. Here with the Nine of Cups, this happiness needs to be maintained, needs, needs to be sustained, okay? And in order to do so, you just have to keep up with the performance, keep up with the demand. So should that be your marriage and you know you realize that your marriage is a substantial thing and you want to improve it you need to keep up of the demand of the marriage and then same thing goes about career so it's pretty much you should not drop off your performance here but even try and aim to improve it and from there we do have the world card and that is the completion so within the, the span of a, a few days here which could be three to four days you set your goal and you have completed it and that is the culmination of events that is where you feel liberated where you feel free okay where you feel at the top of the world as the card represents here or the universe and you have to place another goal it's as simple as that because that is the world brings you back to the pool which is the, the, the point before the new beginning. So here, while you complete your dream, your goal, your, your, your wish, okay, you have to start thinking of what is the next, what is the next on, on, on one's agenda? What is the next thing that you want to do? What is the new perspective out there that you, want, uh, that you want to follow? And once you do set that in front of you, just like as you did at the start of the week, then you should move tenaciously in, towards it and maintain the very same principle as you are to maintain at the start of the week. Who wants to follow you, it is because they love you. Who, who doesn't, it is because they want to make use of you and you don't need such people uh, such people around you. But the world here points that it is what it is. You know, you reach your culmination, whether you're happy of it or not, although you're going to be very happy looking at those cards, but just in general, you know, whether you like it or not, it is what it is. And you have to make peace with it and move on. So uh, that, that kind of like touches on the uh, accompanying parties, right? It is what it is. And you just have to make peace with that. It, it turns out that your bestie is not your bestie anymore. Well, that's, that's it. I mean, you're going to find another bestie. Or uh, on a more positive end, somebody expresses their emotions towards you. They say that they love you. It is what it is. They love you. I mean, they speak the truth. Okay, so listen very carefully what people tell you at the very first portion of the week. For what they are telling you, it's true. I mean, you, you should not doubt into it looking at those cards. Uh, and after that, we do have the six of wands and the, the, just the good experiences doesn't stop. You know, if they are hits here, the hits are just not stop coming. And these are a beautiful hits that are, you are going to uh, manifest throughout the week. For the six of wands here speaks that right after you set your new um, uh, perspective here, 
your very effective actions are going to pretty much push it so much further through in the span of a day or two that it, nobody will be able to believe that you are capable of such a manifestation. And for that, you are going to receive rewards, you are going to receive recognition as well. The Six of Wands also points that you're gonna have your peak of experiences seeing you know the fruits of your labor and how beautiful they are. But guys, that's a milestone, right? It is not the full completion of your new perspective. It's just a, a point where you're proving that you're capable to get it to its very end. And for that reason, at that point, towards after the middle of the week, towards the end of the week, you may be approached from parties, other parties that wants to side with you. You may be addressed with a, a proposition for a promotion or a new job or just something exciting to do within your relationships, seeing how active and as well how uh, productive well, with ability to manifest in generally uh, you are and, and people will want to spend time with you and pretty much with the hope that you are going to share your good fortune with them. Also the six of wands on another perspective here uh, if your new perspective it's, it's something that it is hard for you to chew up and swallow down right because it's a way too big of a piece Six of Wands, it's a, it's a sign that a very necessary and expected help is going to arrive. So that is a, a sign that you are not going to be alone in it should you need somebody to uh, kind of like offer you a back, that back to lean on. That is an expression with our country, but should you need somebody to push you a little bit. And uh, towards the end of the week here, we do have the, the Emperor and that is where things stabilize and normalize, you know, that explosive uh, manifestation from the start of the week now here uh, takes a very uh, stable shape <clears throat> where you are going to be very reliable where you are going to be very consistent and very structured. In general, you are going to have your plan at that point, how you are going to manifest your um, new perspective here directed by the world card based on the very good, very first good labors and fruits of those labors, that recognition and those rewards. And uh, uh, this structure, uh, how can I say it? This structure is going to make the ups and downs or rather like to face to 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 make the ups of it double ups and to make the downs half of a down all right so it's it will become much more manageable to move forward than if you have been scattered as you were uh, before you enter into this uh, into this week um, <clears throat> now there is some kind of a demand here however with emperor because you have shown what you are truly capable of in the span of one week, people's expectations for you are going to rise exponentially. And towards the end of the week, you are no longer going to be able or can afford to show weakness. Uh, you, you always have to present strong that you know what you are doing and that you know that you, you, what, what you are talking about in general. So in order to do that, you need to remember something very important. That is the teaching of the emperor. Dignity, my friends, does not dictate the whole truth to be said. You may have your insecurities, all right? They are your insecurities. People you deal with, people you work with, people you are in a relationship with, they don't, they don't need to know about them, right? They don't need to know about your weaknesses. So tell them only what they need to hear so you can maintain your empire for that is what you are going to start building here so that being said cancer this was your uh, weekly general tarot reading guys um, and uh, hopefully you have enjoyed it and you do um, um, and you do liked it and we are to see each other next time until then bye